Hello, members of the jury and members of the general public. We are here today to tell the story of a small building with big ambitions, two life communities, administrative offices. My name is Philippe Saad. I'm a principal at the Mela Schaefer. I'm joined here by an outstanding team, Domenico Aramo, project architect at the Mela Schaefer, David O'Day, principal at the O'Day Engineering, and Michael Scarancello, structural engineer at O'Day Engineering. This team worked together in a fully integrated fashion since the early stages of the concept and the feasibility study for this project. In fact, I recall my initial phone call to David O'Day in early 2017 because we knew that without a structure, this office building could not be built. The client to Life Communities is a nonprofit that focuses on providing affordable housing for seniors. They are spread on multiple campuses and as well as their administrative offices is spread also on all the different campuses. Their CEO, Amy Sheckman, contacted us in her mind wanting to bring together all the offices under one roof to enhance collaboration for transparency and for equity. The Brighton campus that you see on the slide was the logical place to locate these offices because it was the one that was most connected to transportation and the most urban. The challenge of this campus was that it is very dense. As you notice, all those large buildings on site are the ones housing 1,500 seniors. There is absolutely no additional space to build a new building um, for their offices. So the question was where to locate these office spaces that were requested. The Curlat building is their program center, was the only building on two floors on the campus and appeared to be a possible way to add two stories to provide the needed office space for the communities. However, this is a program center onto which the residents were relying for, for daily activities and disruptions were not possible. The structure of the building could not support one or two additional floors and, and providing new columns, threading them through the existing building, as I said, was not an option um, because the building had to remain operational. So the challenge for our team was to think outside of the box and to be more specific, think over the box. As Philippe has described, we were presented with some key structural constraints in order to achieve this challenge of building additional levels over this existing building. First, the existing foundations and gravity load carrying system of this structure, the original structure, which was constructed in the, the 1980s, was incapable of directly supporting the new weight of the floors for the offices. Secondly, because the building was built at a time when uh, seismic design standards were different and it was not intended to be used for additional floors, there was insufficient capacity in the lateral force resisting system of the building. It would have been a dramatic intervention to have to reinforce it to build stories on top of it. What really opened up the project and gave us the opportunity to be successful was this collaborative idea that we came up with between Demela Schaefer and O'Day of building new long spanning steel trusses that would be a full story deep over the top of the existing building supported on point supports that would be carefully located to avoid the existing structures and below grade structures. That truss could be both the gravity load carrying system and the lateral force resisting system through its action as a uh, basically a large flexural frame. The willingness of Demilla Schaefer to celebrate this trust in the design really opened up all sorts of new avenues for us to be successful. In fact, the client had originally asked us for one additional floor, but we realized that by building this lightweight and efficient structural trust system, we could easily support two uh, floors. So we could give the client even more area. And we could also come up with ways of interconnecting the adjacent structures, as you can see here on, on the diagram in an efficient way. And structural steel was really the key to making this solution possible. 
in addition to um, some of the structural aspects, there are also the architectural ones. Um, there's an existing canopy on the building that we couldn't remove for structural reasons and any architectural solution we came up with would need to incorporate that. Um, in general, the, the new addition and the existing building needed to also look like one building. Uh, and so that was the major architectural challenge. Now here in three dimensions, you can see the, the way that we had to thread the needle by basically installing four point supports with various diagonal members carefully located within the architectural design to provide both gravity load carrying capacity and lateral load resistant capacity for seismic loads. And of course, the new wind loads that were introduced as the result of the additional height to this building. What really made the project sing was Demilla Schaefer's concept to create uh, exterior screening that would that would blend this building with the adjacent structures. And as you'll see shortly, celebrate the interior using the truss diagonals as part of the architecture. So with the existing canopy, uh, we decided to take the verticals from that existing canopy and use them throughout the facades. You can see in green here, uh, we used those four on the right and then added another column and then broke up the facade. Uh, and then to infill between them, we used um, a screen, but not really a screen. It's uh, it's just corrugated metal on top of a substrate, and it goes right over the windows and where the windows are, uh, which is all southern exposure. We've perforated the corrugated metal, so in daylight it looks like one solid surface. Uh, at nighttime, you can see light through, and inside you get a nice diffused light uh, without all the glare from the southern exposure. We have a short video to share with you today that was taken during erection of the primary steel structure. As you've already heard, collaboration among the design team was critical in the success of the project. And this sense of collaboration really extended to the construction team at Delbrook JKS as well. To facilitate installation, you can see that it was determined the best way to erect the trusses was for them to be prefabricated and lifted into place. However, at over 90 feet long and 16 feet tall, it was impractical to shop fabricate them. Despite the incredibly tight space, a small laydown area was available to fabricate the trusses on the ground prior to lifting them. In order to facilitate this erection sequence, the design team and the construction team had a series of working sessions to modify the original proposed connection details to allow for the columns to be in place first and the trusses to thread the needle through the site and in place while residents watched from their nearby windows. We worked closely with the fabricators team, sharing calculations and sketches back and forth to ensure that the structural performance requirements were met, while also detailing the structure in a way that led to the very successful and rapid erection that you've seen here, something really only possible by using steel for our main structural system. Now in this figure, you can see how the structure really comes together with the architecture. As Michael mentioned, we threaded the needle, supported these point supports of the new structural frame on micro piles that you can here see in the figure underground. What you can't see here is the warren of underground utilities that those micro piles had to be bridged over and around in order to support this structure. The presence of the steel frame as both lateral and gravity load carrying system allowed us to produce a very elegant and compact system that could then be blended with the adjacent architecture. This is a final view of the building as it's completed, uh, taken at almost at night, and it 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 gives it gave the client this beautiful building that really they celebrated as part of their branding, and it created that sense of arrival as people enter the building to get up to the to the administration offices on level three and four. You could also see the trust in transparency through the screens on level three uh, as the building starts to get lit during the, the nighttime. The interior of the building was also <clears throat> designed with the truss and together with O'Day Engineering, we were able to, to locate the spaces around the truss and allow for that beautiful structure to be truly celebrated. This is a view as people enter on the third floor coming up the ramp to visit uh, the administration offices. 
We worked with the client's team to color the truss in a color complementary to their branding so that the blue, the, the yellow of the truss is well complementing the blue of their branding. That's a view of the small rooms that were created where they needed to be along the floor plans. And you will notice how the truss is really that big force that goes through the spaces and the spaces are wrapped around the structure. The color again here with the transparency really celebrates that structure. That's a view of the truss facing south. Uh, the truss not being able to be at the edge of the building because of the restrictions around the foundations. The truss was located 10 feet inboard that allowed us to create those spaces of collaboration between the truss and the exterior walls. And on the fourth floor where the truss was not present, uh, the, the, the same color was carried as part of unifying both spaces together as one office space. And at the end, this project brings a lot of pride and joy to all of us who worked in it, but most importantly to the client group. This project, as you can see, really has given the client what they needed and has also exceeded their expectation and their desires to make of two life administrative spaces, one big open spaces available for collaboration, transparency, and equity. Thank you very much.